here today obviously to talk about Strike Force Toronto. Um, Strike Force Toronto was formed in 2001 and it's an ongoing um, heightened awareness operation that we run in the summer period, particularly around danger periods. Um, on the 1st of August 2019 was the first declaration which happened up in the northern part of the state. At that stage Toronto stood up and started collecting information around bushfires, um, whether it be suspicious or otherwise. Um, obviously the disturbing fact, um, since the 1st of August to now, 54 individuals have had action taken against them in 69 fire-related incidents, which is concerning. Um, those offences, uh, they, they range from a $2,200 fine for lighting an open fire right up to offences relating to lighting fires which may endanger life or property which carries 21 years. Um, a number of individuals have been charged in relation to this operation. So today um, we have specialist investigators in the arson unit. There's 19 of them that are trained in wildfire. Um, we also have run training for 40 other investigators this year um, in wildfire training. And the 19 individuals attached to State Crimes Arson Unit are supporting over 1,500 investigators across New South Wales. In the current period, um, we've assisted four police area commands and 12 police districts across the state, which sit in probably at the forefront of about 60 fires that are still rolling. So lastly, before I take questions, obviously there are worsening conditions ahead. Um, we expect significant conditions over the next week's period and obviously the Strike Force Toronto team obviously will raise their position across the state and we will act on and provide advice to police area commands in support to the very dedicated 3,000 volunteers that are fighting the fires. Questions? Um, how many fires from this fire season are currently under investigation? The cause, of, the cause of the fires, so at the moment there's 60 fires, there's a number of fires where there are suspicious circumstances, um, but it is a tedious process that we've got to work through with investigators to determine the cause, and obviously there have been um, six deaths you know, during this um, danger period, which those will be investigated on behalf of the New South Wales coroner. Um, what we're urging the public to do over the next week um, is be the eyes and ears of the New South Wales Police. We've reacted to numerous pieces of information and those at times over the last week have resulted in the arrests of individuals who had an intention or did light a fire in a dangerous bushfire period. Of Thank the you. 54 people facing legal action, <clears throat> how many of those are children? Um, I can't give you the exact figure. Obviously the police media unit will provide a run sheet later on, but um, what is disturbing is a number of those are young people. And there have been people that have been dealt with over the last week in terms of caution because of their age. Um, the behaviours are ranging, you know, in terms of what we've seen over the last week from, you know, stupid reckless behaviour right up to a deliberate intent to light a fire. Have any children been dealt with anything other than a caution at this stage? Uh, that I can't tell you. Why are they dealt with <coughs> cautions at this stage? Look, there's processes specific around um, juveniles and, and there's specific legislation we work with. Obviously, as I said, there's a big difference between reckless, stupid behaviour up to an intentional act. The, the law allows for an incremental system and we follow that. I just, at this stage, I can't give you an indication of how many, if any, have been charged. Have you seen an increase in the number of children lighting fires? I think it's disturbing that 54 individuals had to have action taken against them. Now, whether that's a stupid act of lighting, you know, burning refuse in a, in a banned period, the problem with the behaviour is in a requisite danger period, you know, the air's loaded, um, the fuel load's high, and the likelihood that that fire will get away is a probability. Um, there's really no difference between reckless and, and a deliberate act at this stage. We just, what we need though, we need the help of the public through this period. We know the public assisted us in the arrests of individuals. We do, um, out of the 
the Strike Force Toronto strategy package, we do look at um, predictive and analytics of which it's allowed us to target some individuals. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.